Hello, my friends. May the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, reveal to each and every one of you what He has revealed to us. May He conduct the thoughts of each of you because eternal life or eternal death or better the punishment the eternal punishment depends exclusively on your choices each person has to make their own choices so l eternal life or the eternal punishment depends on each and every one of us and there's more god is not unfair towards anybody because he is justice itself so what he requires what he demands from us what he's asking from each and every one of us we are all able to give it to him life is only possible through faith life does not come through financial conquests we are talking about eternal life here or, or eternal death on one side eternal life with god on the other there is eternal punishment in the lake of fire and brimstone which never ceases ever in no time it's like god life eternal life as well as eternal death it's not the death of a person dying be it sleep no it's a death of punishment of suffering of pain so life as well as death are eternal and each person has to make their own choices it doesn't depend on money or social position it doesn't depend on anybody's favor it's something very personal and individual and each person has to decide for themselves that's why god speaks that the righteous shall live by faith which means the righteous is justified is deserving because of their faith faith is what justifies us before god it's faith but a faith not that faith that just say oh i believe in god no it's a faith that is followed of obedience faith involves obedience to the word of god so you who are watching me in this moment think well for example i will speak in a human in human terms here yeah, like marriage marriage remains if there is love but not is the it's not the emotional love the feeling or pleasure no it's a love that has to sacrifice you sacrifice for your husband your husband sacrifices for you if there is no sacrifice in this love then it's not love it's a futile feeling that is useless true love demands sacrifice from both sides if there is no sacrifice it's because there is no love in the same way faith when there is faith the person sacrifices they obey they sacrifice their flesh their desire their will that is dirty they sacrifice because they know the value of their faith so god speaks he says that the just shall live by his faith they have life by faith there in habakkuk he says like this 
but the just shall live by his faith, which means eternal life depends on our faith. Just as the eternal punishment depends on the doubt. That's it. If on one side God gives us faith in order for us to be saved, on the other hand the devil offers the doubt in order for us to live in fear, with anxiety, with fear of losing, fear of tomorrow. The devil works with the doubt, opposing faith that God offers. And this faith is free of charge. It's free of charge. You obey the word of God and then you are manifesting your faith. Just as in marriage, you sacrifice for your husband or for your wife, you are manifesting your love for them. On the other hand, love does not exist. Well, think about that and you have to agree with me that many times you are deceived by your heart. You felt an emotion, you felt a great pleasure, a great desire, indescribable pleasure being with someone. But when you started to live with that person daily, then you found out many flaws. You did not accept those flaws and, and they did not accept yours. Then this is not love. Pure love, true love is a love where the person sacrifices. But of course, there are those who satisfy with very little, with crumbs, and they suffer, they are beaten up, they groan, they are really suffering, they are even hurt, but they continue with that person because they love. And who do they love? They love someone who despises them. Because whoever loves, they tolerate, they bear this situation, those who love, they truly sacrifice. And the same thing is with faith. Whoever has faith in the living God obeys his word. They go against their fleshly desires and they continue firm because they believe in the one whom they do not see. They love the one whom they do not see. This is the spirit of faith. And that's why God says that the righteous we will have life by faith. The righteous will have life by faith. He's talking about eternal life, not a little life of a hundred years. No, he's talking about eternal life. And this only depends on each and every one of us. Every day we are here trying, really trying to open the understanding, to clarify you know, doubts, answering questions, so that people can behave according to the Word of God, because the Word of God is what brings faith, the Word of God brings life, the, the Word of God brings organization, discipline, isn't it? Therefore, my dear friend, this is the faith that saves a faith that likes order and discipline, a faith that loves righteousness, a faith that does not love righteousness. It's not faith. Faith loves righteousness, loves what is righteous. It values the family. It values spiritual values. It respects one another. This is faith. This is love, without which there is no life. The righteous shall live by his faith. He will have life by his faith. In other words, whoever lives by faith becomes righteous before God. Those who live by faith 
those who live by faith, these are deserving of receiving the blessings of God, favor from Him. I hope that with this foundation of faith, with this understanding, this biblical understanding, it's not my personal thought, it's not my philosophy. I'm here repeating what is written. Every single day I speak of what is written in the Holy Scriptures. Whoever believes will be blessed. Whoever does not believe is already condemned, is already condemned. May God bless you all. And today, let's not forget, we have the Lord's Supper, the Lord's Supper of the communion with God, communion with the Lord Jesus Christ himself, the person of the Holy Spirit. You are my guest, okay? See you tomorrow and God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen.